Hey guys, uh, Fun Guy Timmy here. I wanted to do uh, a review of a couple um, dynamic mics that I have. I have four dynamic mics, and I wanted to do a review on them because I didn't really find any good reviews on them because um, I wanted to learn, you know, uh, more about their pickup pattern or anything like that. Or so I just did some research and found some information on them. But then, since there wasn't really any um, reviews on them, I wanted to go ahead and do some reviews um, for you guys. Um, uh, and the first one that I wanted to show you guys um, is a uh, Radio Shack mic. Now, here's the thing about Radio Shack. Um, first of all, Radio Shack doesn't really name or give any good numbers or any good classification for their mics or g any good identification for the mic. So this mic um, is basically just known as a Super Cardioid Dynamic Mic. It's the Radio Shack Super Cardioid Dynamic Mic. Uh, but it does also have a number on the mic itself, which I think you can look it up by the number, uh, and it is the 3300128. That is dreadful. Okay, that is dreadful as far as naming a microphone. Uh, but it's the Radio Shack 3300128 Super Cardioid Dynamic Microphone. Uh, it is actually one of the best dynamic mics that I have. Now, dynamic means that um, it's very close to the mic. You have to get very close to the mic. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of range, so if I get too far away, you basically can't hear me at all. Um, also, it means it does not require phantom power, um, which is really good. Uh, this is this is the kind of mic that people would use on stage or do for live shows or stuff like that. I have these because I do podcasts with these mics. These are nice mics. Also, I go on the road with them. So that's why I have them. Now we're going to move on to our uh, second mic. Uh, but first, uh, this mic is actually a $40. It's about $40. I think it's a little bit under $40, whether you get it off Amazon or off Radio Shack itself. It's, about, it's a little under $40. Uh, and the reason I like this mic the most is because it actually has a higher pickup pattern. Uh, it's not as low, and it's not flat. It's got it's got some good range. And of the four mics that I have, it's actually the most expensive, so I'm glad that it sounds the best. If it was the, the most expensive of the dynamic mics that I had, and it sounded the worst, I'd be very disappointed. But anyway, now we're going to move on to our second mic. All right, and this is the second um, mic. Uh, it, this one is under $30. This is another Radio Shack mic. Um, Radio Shack doesn't do a lot of good stuff. Let's just be honest. Especially customer service and variety. And again, naming. Dreadful, dreadful name. This is their uh, unidirectional dynamic mic. Or, get ready, the 3303043. Wow. So basically their microphones are just like prisoners, and they just have numbers and no names. That's basically it. Um, this was the first one that I showed you, and this one is under 30. It's, it's flatter, and I have to get closer to the mic. It's not... Um, the other one was super cardioid, so it had a little bit more range to it. You still had to get pretty close, but it had a little bit more range. Uh, this one is like basically like just right there on the mic. Um, again, I'm using a, a windscreen um, because I don't want any pops. I want you guys to know what this sounds like without any um, noise. So uh, anyway, uh, this one again is a unidirectional dynamic microphone. And again, it is the 3303043. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put all the links... Um, uh, in and descriptions and names and prices in the description. I'm pro probably also going to put something um, on the screen um, with the names of the mics for you. So anyway, now we're going to be moving on to our third mic. Alrighty, and now here we have the Samson R31S Hypercardioid. Uh, every single one of these mics has a slightly different pickup pattern. They're all um, they're all dynamic mics. Uh, but the first one was super cardioid, and then the next one was um, unidirectional, and then this one's hypercardioid. Um, basically, for the most part, they mean the same thing. But some of them, um, you know, have like, you can hear a little bit more noise behind the mic. Um, and depending, you know, just different pickup patterns mean you got to get closer or further away, or they might hear off to the side. This one's like very much right there. It sounds very similar to the, uh, the other Radio Shack mic. Um, and it's about the same price. Um, you know, uh, this one, you know, this one is uh, Samson, so it's it's made a little bit better. I feel like it's it's sturdier, um, but for the most part, they're the same mic. Alrighty, and the last mic that we have here is the Behringer XM one eight zero zero S. I believe that's what it is. The Behringer XM one eight zero zero S, and this one is cardioid. 
Um, this is actually uh, one of my favorite mics. Now, my favorite is this one. But the reason I like this mic um, is this one actually came with a uh, mixer, a uh, portable mixer and speaker system that I take on the road when I do shows. Um, and this one is incredibly durable. I've actually beaten this one uh, to death. It's got quite a few dings on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually like flat, almost almost completely flat on one side. Um, it is very durable. Now, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as durable as the SM58, which I do not own one, which, but I do plan on getting one, SM58 and an SM57. And when I do, I'm going to compare these mics to those. But uh, this one's taking quite a beating. This is the one that I take on the road because it's taking such a beating. Um, and it still sounds pretty good. It's the second... Um, uh, sounding, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's the second best sounding of the mics. Um, it has a higher frequency. I, I feel like it has more range. I feel like the other two, the the Radio Shack, the 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 second one and the third one that I did. I'm not going to name them. The second one and the third one uh, were a lot flatter, but I be feel like these two, the first one and this one, uh, have a lot more range. They're not as flat. I feel. Um, so, uh, yeah, this one is also $30, and this one is cardioid. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you already know what to do. Uh, if you would like to see me test any other mics, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if I can get my hands on one, I will. Um, I tested it inside my recording space. I just finished doing a Let's Play, which is why the green screen's behind me. So, um, I want to give you guys a clear representation of these mics. Some people don't do that when they do reviews. You'll hear like a fan or they'll be in a very noisy, echoey room or they'll just be like doing this like, okay, this is this is the quality of the time. How you like that? And it drives me crazy. So I wanted to give you guys, um, if you were looking at any of these mics, I wanted to give you guys a good, uh, high quality review of these mics. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and catch you later. Peace.